Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elise's Eats and today we are making the double glazed apple fritters from the regular show. Now actually these can be not safe for human consumption but I'm going to show you a safe-ish version. We don't really know what's going to happen but they're going to be delicious either way. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so these are the ingredients you're going to need to make the double glazed apple fritters that Mordecai and Rigby got. Two cups of plain flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one third cup of caster sugar, three quarter cup of whole milk plus one tablespoon of milk, two extra large eggs at room temperature, one teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, three and a quarter cups of small diced apple, I used Royal Gala, which are a bit sweeter. Of course, you can use Granny Smith, but you might need to add some more sugar. For the filling, you're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste, 40 grams of unsalted butter, melted. For the glaze, you're going to need three cups of icing sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, half a cup of cold milk, and a pinch of salt. And then you're going to need some vegetable oil for frying. I'm going to be using canola, but you can also use sunflower. Okay, so what we're going to do is put all of our dry ingredients into a large bowl and our wet ingredients into a smaller bowl. And then we're going to mix them separately and put them all into the dry ingredients. Flour, the sugar, the baking powder and salt, and the spices. With a whisk, just mix it all together. By whisking this together, we also get out any lumps of flour. In a separate bowl, add our milk, two extra large eggs, bloop, the melted butter, and then your vanilla bean. And then mix together. Now we're going to add our wet mixture into the dry mixture in a little well in the center. And then slowly from the middle with your whisk, whisk it around until it's all combined. Then we're going to add the apples and then stir it all together. So now that our apple mixture is all ready, we're going to put a pot of oil on a medium high heat until about 175 degrees Celsius or when you put a wooden skewer in, it bubbles nicely. And then you're going to get a quarter cup measurement and plop it in but don't burn yourself with the oil, I've done that before. So if you don't have a thermometer or a wooden skewer, what you can do is take a small piece of the apple mixture and put it in, and if it bubbles nicely, you're ready. Not quite. <laughs> a few moments later. Take two. There it is. and slowly drop it into the hot oil. Allow them to fry for two to three to four minutes on either side, depending on how big they are. Now you wanna make sure not to overcrowd the pan, otherwise the temperature of the oil can drop too much. Golden brown delicious. Now have a wire cooling rack over some paper towels and we're going to put our apple fritters on here so that they can dry and cool so that they don't get soggy. He's displeased with us. He's screaming. Ah! <laughs> oh. Set me free. Okay, so I got about 12 apple fritters out of it. Not gonna lie, some of them got eaten by a certain someone. Should stick with the whole with donuts, having your load pops. Anyway, um, so now what we're going to do, while this is still nice and warm, we're going to make a nice glaze. Uh, so we're going to put our milk and vanilla into our icing sugar and stir it all together. Okay. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is put our slightly warm fritters in our delicious vanilla glaze and put them back on the wire cooling rack until they're nice and dry. Make sure it's all covered and just take a fork and let the excess drain off. Glaze these ones once. Just a... No! Pops. No, okay. So now that we've glazed these once, to make sure that they're safer for human consumption, we're just going to drizzle the second coating over the top. Hopefully, that makes them safe for human consumption. I don't know, this is a scientific experiment. We've got to figure it out together. Okay, these look absolutely delectable, but what we have to do is wait for the top coat of the glaze to dry, then we're gonna serve it up and eat it and see if it is safe for human consumption. But we're gonna eat them anyway. Okay guys, so that's how you make my version of the double glazed apple fritters from the regular show. They look delicious, I'm pretty sure they're safe for our consumption, and yeah, let's do it. Okay, now I love apple fritters. Again, Flavia's never had one, and we pray it's safe for consumption because. I hope so. Which one do you want? I'm, I'm taking this I'm one. I'm gonna have this one. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. So excited. Okay. okay. Oh my god. Oh, the double glaze is like just enough. That is amazing. And it's so soft and spongy, mm. and there's still a little bit of crispiness, and the apple's just like. It's like deep fried apple pie, but yeah, you know, but like kind of cakey. It's mm. delicious. So good. See, I really think that they're pretty good. Like, hmm. Love it. What's happening to you? I've got too much energy. What do we do? How do we get rid of it? Exercise. <laughs> Okay. 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 But yeah, if you have leftover glaze, you know what? Definitely save it or eat it. These seem to be safe. I did get a bit of energy from it, mm. but I wonder. Do it. Do it. Is it safe? We will never know unless you try it. She's gone. Oh my God, Elise! Hope she has a whole wheat donut. Don't do it! I no. must! Oh my god! I'm okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media. Talk to our faces. We're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Bye.